Hey guys, Ray Lines here, and today I'll be showing you how to make Call of Duty Black Ops 4 thumbnails in Photoshop, just like this one. So let's jump straight into it. To start off in Photoshop, create a canvas size 1280 by 720 pixels. Once we've created the canvas, we're just going to go to File and Open, and we're just going to pull in a background that we want to display in our thumbnail. It's really up to you what kind of background you use here, perhaps using a screenshot from the video that the thumbnail will be representing would be a good idea. And then, as I do on screen here, just drag down the tab with the image opened and drag across the image onto the canvas that we've just created. And now quickly I just pressed Ctrl and T to resize the image and reposition it to a more appropriate position. By the way, sorry right now if I'm moving very quickly, but I'm trying to get through all of this quite quickly so it's a nice and short tutorial for you guys and I'm trying to make it information packed so that you actually learn a few new tricks while I do this. The next thing we're going to do is using the pen tool we're going to cut out the weapon that is on screen. This does seem to be quite a random thing to do but the finished result does turn out quite nice so just bear with me. For those of you who aren't familiar with the pen tool I'm afraid I won't be able to cover it in detail in this video as it would simply make this video too long to watch. So once we've finished cutting out the actual outline of the gun we're going to right click on it and select make selection and then just click OK and this will just select the gun. So now we're going to cut out this layer so we're going to go up to layer and then new and then layer via copy and this will just create a copy of only the selected area onto a new layer. Again press Ctrl and T and then just resize the weapon and enlarge it a little bit. As I said earlier I uh, tried to set up this thumbnail tutorial in a way that would allow me to show you a few tricks along the way. So just like here we have the gun enlarged but there are still um, remains of the previous gun in the background so I'm going to show you quickly how to remove those now and this is a really really cool trick so uh, check this out. In our toolbar we're going to go up and select the healing brush tool and what this allows us to do is by clicking the background layer in the layers tab and then holding alt and clicking on a nice clean piece of grass we can then move across to the arm and cover it up by clicking and dragging and this will replace the arm with the grass texture that we've previously selected. This tool is hugely powerful in all forms of photo manipulation. So there's only a small piece of the arm that we actually have to cover here with grass and once that's done as you can see the only thing left now is the scope of the top right here. So we're going to make use of the same tool again and just duplicate the prefabs over the bottom of the scope. And once we've done this, we're going to duplicate some of the leaves on the tree and cover up the top of the scope. Now remember, this doesn't have to be extremely detailed and accurate because when in use, a thumbnail always tends to be quite small on screen, so viewers won't be able to actually make out the slight flaws in the design. So now we're kind of finished with the tedious work, so we're going to move on and add some cool effects to this layer. So on the weapons layer, we're going to select effects. And then on, under drop shadow we're going to put a distance of 5, spread of 12 and size of 12. Then we're going to select outer glow and we're just going to select a little white uh, panel here and make sure it's fully white. And then on opacity we're going to set it to 75 and on spread we're going to set it to 12 and on size we're going to set it to 18. Then we're going to select stroke and we're going to add a nice white stroke around the outside so select the color panel and just select the white color. I'm going to leave size at 3 and click OK and as you can see now the weapon is starting to look really nice and it's about it's kind of popping out of the image you know it looks good. So just as an example for this thumbnail I'm going to do a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout thumbnail. So this is that uh, Battle Royale multiplayer game so I'm just going to go file and open and drag in the victory um, kind of banner that shows up at the end of a game if you win. So I'm just going to resize this by holding Ctrl and T again and I'm going to just place it at the top of the screen. Once we're happy with where it's placed, I'm just going to add some quick effects to this and just add in a drop shadow. So we're going to go effects and drop shadow. And with this drop shadow, we're going to set the opacity to 90, this distance to 9, spread to 9, and size to 12. This just gives us a very heavy and dense drop shadow to the victory banner, which makes it kind of stand out from the background. So now we're going to go file and open and drag in one last image, which is the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 emblem. And we're just going to pop that down the bottom left hand corner just to let people know straight away upon viewing the thumbnail what the video content is. We don't have to make this too big or take up the entire thumbnail as upon first glance most gamers will be familiar with the Call of Duty logo already. So again we're just going to add a drop shadow to this to make it stand out from the background so we're going to set opacity to 90 again, distance is going to be set to 0 and spread is going to be 22 and size is going to be 22. 
So now the thumbnail is really starting to come along, um, so a nice extra trick I like to throw in is to slightly blur the background. So we're going to go to the Layers tab and select the background layer. Then we're going to go up to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And I like to use something around uh, 2.5. This just allows kind of the, the, the foreground objects like the, the banner, the, the Call of Duty logo and the gun itself to really pop out at the uh, viewer. So next I'm going to show you how to throw in some text that will really stand out and pop to the viewer. So in thumbnails like this, most of the time you have a top line and a bottom line. So using the text tool and a font called Molot, M-O-L-O-T, I'm going to type out the first line. It's easier to add effects to the first line and then duplicate it rather than adding the effects two times. So we're going to add some effects right now. So we're going to add a drop shadow and we're going to set the opacity to 90, the distance to 3, the spread to 22 and the size to 22. So next we're going to add a gradient overlay and we're going to set the opacity to about 25 and then we're going to set the scale to about 65. So the text is looking nice now but we're going to quickly add an inner glow to top it off and we're going to click the little box here and make sure that it's fully white and click OK. Then we're going to set opacity to 90 and we're going to go down to choke here and just make sure that's set to 5 and then click OK. So now our first line of text is done. We're going to duplicate this by going to the layers tab and selecting the text layer. We're going to click and drag this over the page icon and this will duplicate the layer. So now we're going to select the move tool and then we're going to click and drag the duplicate layer down under the first layer. Then using the text tool we're going to highlight the second layer and we're going to change what it says so I'm just going to change it to thumbnails. As you may have noticed, yes I am going to be creating the thumbnail for this very own video. I know, genius, saves so much time. So as you can see the bottom line of text is shorter than the top line so to fix this we're going to highlight the text, go to window and character and then we're going to set the font size to 95 and the letter spacing to 10. And now, as you can see, it kind of matches up with the top line of text even better. So now to make it stand out more, I'm just going to select the text again, and I'm going to change the color to kind of a, a bright orange to match the kind of uh, Black Ops 4 logo. So something along the lines of this orange is nice, so I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm not liking the way the um, inner glow is showing up on this text, so to fix this really quick, we're going to go into the effects of this layer, and we're just going to change the blend mode of the inner glow to overlay. So yeah, now that's the whole thumbnail pretty much created, but uh, believe it or not, I have a few more tricks up my sleeve yet. Um, just some color correction and color effects you can do to the thumbnail to make it pop even more. So selecting the background layer, go to gradient map here, and then up on this drop down, select the purple to orange kind of um, gradient. And then on blend mode, we're going to set it to overlay. Now this is a bit intense, so we're going to change the opacity to something along the lines of 25%. The next step is to select the background layer again, and under effects, we're going to add a gradient overlay. Now we're going to just set the blend mode to overlay. And we're going to turn down the opacity to about 40%. Yes, these are very minor changes, but it really does allow your thumbnail to stand out more from the rest that are up there on YouTube. So one last trick I like to do is to select the weapon layer, and then we're going to right click on that and select select pixel. Then with this selected, we're going to go down here, click, and then we're going to select levels. And just tweak these a little bit and they'll just make the um, weapon kind of pop out more. So we're just going to drag in the, the, the right hand side um, pointer. And then we're going to do the same to the middle, and we're going to do the same to the left hand side. And this really just makes the uh, weapon look sharper, and it kind of adds a, a more intense contrast to the weapon. And I think this results in a really nice finished product. And there you have it guys, the tutorial on how to make a Black Ops 4 thumbnail is complete. I am amazed if you've actually managed to make it this far. And just to remind you, as you've seen in the title of this video, yes, I'm giving a template away in the description to download this for absolutely free. Before you go ahead and click that link, I would ask you to like the video, drop a comment below, and yes, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I upload again. 
Everybody says this at the end of their videos, I know it's a cliche, but it actually means a lot to me guys. And if you feel like you're not willing to do all three at the moment, then that is absolutely fine, it is your choice, but I would appreciate if you could drop a comment below. I always like reading through the comments and that's what matters most to me. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'll leave the video at this guys. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to check out one of my other videos that's on screen now. Oh, 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 oh,